So remember in my last Mavic 4 Pro video, I was a bit skeptical about its 360 degree roll capability. Turns out I stand corrected. A recent drone video shared by Drone on X really showcases the Mavic 4 Pro's ability to roll a full 360 degrees. That's a significant improvement over the Mavic 3 Pro, Mavic 3 Pro's gimbal, which while solid had its limitations in roll, it also hints at a much more robust gimbal design and stabilization system. You need serious engineering to make that smooth, especially when paired with high resolution capture and cinematic frame rates. The big news, it looks like the Mavic 4 Pro won't be showing up this month after all, despite what earlier rumors had us believing. Originally, the plan seemed to be that DJI would start teasing it by April 17th, then drop the full launch a week later. Then, leaks pointed to May 13th, and if that timeline holds, we'd probably get an official teaser around May 6th. Apparently, DJI's been running into trouble behind the scenes, specifically with those fancy electronic ND filters and that super fast 240 watt charging. Word is, both features have been acting up in testing, bad enough that DJI might end up pulling them from the final version altogether. Of course, none of this is confirmed yet, it's all still in the rumor zone. But if true, it could explain the extra delay. According to the latest leaks, the Mavic 4 Pro might ditch Apple ProRes support, which is a pretty big shift from what we saw in the previous model. Instead, it looks like DJI is leaning toward a high-end alternative like XAVCI with 422 color sampling and a high-profile bitrate. Now, for those who love ProRes for its smooth editing workflow and compatibility with Pro software, this might be a letdown. But honestly, this codec isn't some massive downgrade. It still delivers rich color depth and top tier image quality. For most creators, the difference won't be a deal breaker. It's still broadcast grade quality. Only folks who are deeply locked into a ProRes pipeline might notice the change. It feels less like a step down and more like a pivot, one that could actually streamline things for a wider range of users. So what do you think about these updates? Is the switch to XAVC i422 a deal breaker for you? Or are you excited about the Mavic 4 Pro's enhanced capabilities? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more updates. Peace.